I set up a hot water recirculating pump and I did it with a little bit of a twist uh, because the hot water recirculating pump is on a uh, motion detector with a Z-wave switch. So you can see the cord there. So it's just basically screws into the top of the uh, hot water tank. I don't think there's any special considerations there. And then down here, you'll notice I have a, it's a Z-Wave uh, plug-in. So that's a key part of it. Uh, in my case, I was lucky enough to have an extra line under the sink that I could tap into. You always need a return line with a recirculating pump. There are, sometimes you can buy like an adapter for $65 on Amazon that you could just basically plug in here, but... Um, uh, and they just kind of use the cold water as a recirculating line. In my case, uh, I had uh, an extra line that I was able to use. So this, the line on the far right is actually a line that goes to the fridge. So I basically, and in our, the way that our house is plumbed, all the, the plumbing is in the attic. So I was able to tap into that and then run it back to the hot water tank. And I can show you that. Uh, but... In the absence of having that line, oh, if you had like a double sink vanity or something like that, sometimes they'll have two lines so you could combine the, the uh, hot and cold and, and then basically you use one of the colds to uh, go back. But basically you, you need a recirculating line back. Okay, I'm up in the attic now. So you can see... There's a line, I insulated it, and I think it's important to insulate those lines because uh, uh, because there's lots of heat that would be lost through them otherwise. But uh, So this line that I'm looking at here, the white line uh, that you can see there, uh, it actually goes back and connects into my system there. Uh, and like I said, again, I was fortunate enough to have that uh, here. There's the check valve and you would need a check valve so that water can never go back through your, your return line. So that's what that's basically for. It's just a simple check valve. Here I tap into uh, my cold water and I'm tapping into the cold water as close as I can to uh, where it goes back into the uh, hot water tank. So you just try and get as close as you can to the hot water tank. Uh, there's my hot uh, line. You can notice I it's all but insulated for about a foot there. But basically I insulated it all the way back so whenever it circulates um, it will um, not lose so much heat. Uh, very simply there is a motion detector I put in. It runs off a battery. Uh, it detects motion. It's actually kind of perfect because it detects motion. Um, it's not continuously it's doing about every 10 minutes so that works really well for uh, turning on this pump on and off now in my case i used uh, nexia as my uh, controller but basically so you have to have a, a bridge and you have to tie in your uh, security sensor so here, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the security sensor right here. It's tied into it. Um, under lighting and modules, uh, I created a switch and I called it, you know, pump outlet. And you can see right now it's off, but it could be, I could turn it on. And then the next thing is basically setting up an automation. And uh, so if we look at this automation, you can see, um, in this case, I can say if this happens, and basically when the sensor detects motion is what, I, what I'm detecting. And then I basically says set switch name pump outlet to on. And then basically uh, in two minutes later, it basically turns it off. And you can do that for as long as you want. So, but, you know, roughly if, if people are moving around in the main area, uh, the pump will get turned on and then get turned off. Now, 
I think that this system is considerably better than just putting it on a schedule for a bunch of reasons. Um, you know, first of all, that pump is only running uh, just a short amount of time and only when it's actually detecting motion. So I think that works really good and it basically saves on power. But the other thing that it saves on is there's a lot of heat that is lost uh, in those recirculating lines. So uh, even though they're insulated, I did notice every time that pump kicks in and recirculates the, the boiler or the hot water tank actually kicks on and uh, you know, for a brief moment. And if that was basically running from seven in the morning until 10 at night or something like that, it's like uh, you're losing a tremendous amount of heat through your hot water tank. And so you're actually burning extra gas. And even though you're actually reducing your water, uh, you're spending probably more in power and probably more in gas for your hot water tank. So uh, having it just turn on um, when there's motion works really well. If you go away and you're gone for you know a week, you don't have to worry about turning it off or anything like that. And uh, it's somewhat adjustable, so I can you know if I detect motion, I can turn it on for five minutes or two minutes or whatever. So um, so so that's uh, that's my little thing. I hope that uh, uh, someone finds that uh, useful uh, for for what, you know, for what it is, and uh, thanks for your time. Bye-bye.